So everything on this list, bar a jacket potato, it sort of jumps out at me as something irregular. The 20-year-old Ashley, who's lost three and a half stone in three years, defying this dairy challenge is pushing him out of his comfort zone. I literally have no idea what is in any of this. I'm just... I just want to get out of here. Just get whatever I need and just... I don't really want to be here. To be honest. It's just... It's just... It's just like... I just don't need this. It's just in the way. I feel like I've got to fit this mould. Living with someone with anorexia, I think, a bit like uh, watching, you know, someone you love or whatever behind a big pane of glass, and you're watching them slowly destroy themselves, and you can't do anything to change it. You're forced to watch it. And nothing you say makes sense to them, but it's so frustrating. I need to do it, but it's, I'm literally only doing it just because I know that I should. I don't even... Forget it. Anorexics often have real difficulty in shopping for food, typically in supermarkets. They have a whole lot of conflicts in there. They're driven in a way by wanting food and wanting to eat and being surrounded by it. It's natural for them to be uh, completely looking at it in excessive detail all the time, how many calories are on it and so on. And at the same time, they're actually terrified to eat it and then the foods themselves are identified as frightening, and even going near them, picking them up, touching them, and so on, um, becomes quite a scary thing for some of them, and they will just keep away from them and not even go and venture close to it. For Ashley, choosing the cheese is proving a real struggle, so Ursula steps in to help him complete his task. What I'm wondering is, can we look at you choosing something different for your toppings, so something that's not cheese, if that's easier? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, something that maybe mm -hmm. that I would actually enjoy. Absolutely, and that's fine. We can, we can adapt it that way if that's easy. Yeah. So could I ask you to go back then and get a different chopping of your choice, something that you feel you would, you would definitely be able to, to think about doing at home? That's yeah. fine, yeah. I literally wouldn't eat cheese because I don't enjoy it. I figured there'd be no use in me having cheese. So I thought beans were something that I used to enjoy, so I'll try them. 90,000 people in the UK are being treated for an eating disorder, including anorexia nervosa. Ashley, Morag, Roz and Fiona are anorexic. 